Hi, welcome to Cam Look, a daily dose of your Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a staff and a volunteer will be sharing an object from the permanent collection, posing questions for discussion. Check back every day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new conversation. Today, we'll be looking at two paintings done in 1876 by two very close friends, Frank Duvenek and William Merritt Chase. Frank Dunek's work is called The Turkish Page. William Merritt Chase's painting is called Unexpected Intrusion. I'm excited to see these two works together at the CAMS Frank Dunek's ex exhibit. Let's look. In each painting, a young boy, very thin, is seated on a leopard rug with legs extended under a brown blanket, which looks like velvet. On his lap is a brass bowl containing some fruit. A white cockatoo balances on the edge of the bowl, wings up as if struggling to balance. The boy wears a red hat and tilts his head to one shoulder to watch the bird eat the fruit. The boy's physique is thin and his left shoulder is twisted upward. How do these artists handle the subject differently? Well, let's take a first look at the colors and textures. They do handle it differently. Duvenek chose to use solid, muted colors and a simple background to create a strong focus on the boy. In contrast, Chase embellishes the surface with light and pattern and using the lightness of the bird to create his focus. The use of orientation of the canvas is different as well. Duvenek is using a landscape orientation with his pose facing slightly left, while Chase is using a portrait orientation and a straight on view of its sitter. What other differences do you notice? This is a great piece to play, find the differences. The wonderful full family activity. Is it clear where the boys are? Where would you guess? In the studio of Duvenek and Chase, actually, these close friends were attempting to capitalize on the craze of exotic subjects made popular by European artists. They designed the scene, giving a sense of exotic escape using a street boy model with elaborate costumes to transform imaginary scene. These paintings do not represent Turkey, as Duvenek's title, The Turkish Page, suggests. It isn't all about the objects at all. It's more of a transformative experience. These paintings were exhibited in the National Academy of Design in New York in 1877. Duvenek's work demanded much attention in the main gallery, while Chase's work was less was hung in a less traveled area of the gallery above a doorway. Duvenek's painting met with great mixed review. The critics loved the realism of the body, but yet were uncomfortable with the extremely thin physique of the boy. They loved the allure of its techniques, color, and harmony and textures, but they were discontented that the painting had no real meaning or message. The painting is the very beginning of a movement called Arts for Art's Sake. It was a significant milestone for Duvenek's career, giving him much notoriety. How about you? Do these paintings spark your imagination for distant places?